So here's the Frescobaldi. This is the Castel Giocondo Brunello di Montalcino 2016. So the Castel Giocondo estate is one of uh, the Frescobaldi's estates that produces uh, outstanding Sangiovese grapes and make this really nice Brunello, which is, you know, a wine that's been so consistent for so many years. Always one of the top wines. Um, it's a large estate with a lot of different uh, exposures and elevations for the grapes. And so you get a little you know, different nuances depending on where, where they're growing. And it all comes together. Um, you know, Brunello, of course, uh, shows a much bolder side of Sangiovese than, say, Chianti does. It's warmer area overall. But this gets the traditional aging in the large oak casks, and then, of course, you know, the long four years before release. So, lets all those flavors come together, lets all those rough edges smooth out, and you get a wine that's Maybe not always just ready to drink, but really showing its really showing its stuff, right? And that's what we've got here. Wow, we've got a really beautiful nose. Yeah, so I get that really nice sort of whiff of like orange peel, a little bit of a, yeah, this dried cherry notes, so nice. A little bit of a uh, a violet note on there. Mm, some spice, just a hint of that, uh, that kind of little brown spice. I get a little hint of cranberry in there too. Really nice, complex nose. Wow. Let's try it. Mm, yeah. That's, this is showing beautifully on the palate. It's really silky. The tannins are just, just a little bit chewy, but they just kind of spread out give the wine a nice roundness, and that just kind of display those flavors. Those dried cherry, that little twist of orange peel, those sort of nice spice box hints. Getting those little floral notes lingering. Um, there's a, also a really nice core to this wine, like a density. So clearly it's gonna continue to develop over a number of years but it's, it's already just really showing beautifully. Um, yeah, this one's always a winner. Happy drinking. <laughs>